you a chance, so come on. Hey, hey, oh, oh, fossil views, I've got to go. Hey, hey, oh, oh, fossil views, I've got to go. Hey, hey, oh, oh, fossil views, I've got to go. I just want to say that, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen a lot of stuff on social media saying that young people can't make a difference, or us like missing school, missing lectures to protest, something like this, isn't going to do anything. But I just want to say don't let anyone make you feel like what you're doing is insignificant. Because in 10 or 15 years time, we're going to be the cabinet, we're going to be the government, and we are going to make such a difference, because we've already started now. So well done everyone for being here. I'm striking today because um, I feel like, as silly as it is, children are the future and we need to support their future. And at the moment, the government is not doing as much as they can do. The, the media is not doing as much as they can do. People are, they just don't know how much of a crisis this actually is because it is a crisis. And that we need to do stuff now. We can't do it tomorrow. We need to do it now before we put out time. So I've come here with um, Fossil Free Northumbria, which is a new group for Northumbria. I brought them to the strike to support the main school strike that's going on today. This is about the young people standing up for themselves. We're not here to be told like what to do. We're here because we recognise that we're facing the catastrophe. And it's not a choice to be here. We have to be here. We can't sit by and do nothing. I'm sure everyone realised that's the worst crime is to do nothing. So, <laughs> young people, let's do it for the young people. Come on, it's our generation that's going to be affected most by this. And Big up to all that everyone else supporting our generation, but this is our generation's movement, we need to claim it. Can I, can I have one last thing? Um, myself, with support of other people, we're trying to set up a youth assembly across Newcastle, getting representatives from different sick forms and schools, colleges, all across Newcastle, all come together, keep this energy going. This is like completely led by people of our generation. There's a meeting today from 2 till 4 in St Thomas's Church, just opposite Haymarket. It would be great to see as many people along as possible, keep the energy going, get coordinated, get organised. We could link up with other cities and keep just help this movement grow and grow. Cheers, guys. I'm a second year student at Northumbria University, and I have the absolute pleasure of living in this beautiful city which I now call home. Keep going the way that we are going right now. This city will not only be not my home, it won't be anyone's home because the world is literally dissolving. We need politicians to respond. We need politicians to take us seriously. There are so many things that we can do. Small changes collectively. Stop eating meat. Stop buying new clothes. Make a difference. Make an impact. And send politicians a message that the Brexit plan ban is completely irrelevant to the grand scheme of things because our world. And it is our world, our planet, who's planet? Who's planet? Who's planet? Who's planet? Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day. I just want to say we need to be the change that we want to see in the world. There's many little people do many little things in many little places, and a lot can get done in this world. Politicians are lying. 
do. They are scared of the changes we can make to the world they have become so complacent in. They are scared that we can form together as one and we can change our world and we can make it a better place. Um, well done on amazing climate strike to all the students and young people here. Um, I think what I'd really like to hear is just more young people's voices. Um, I'm really enjoying when young people are saying why they're here. Um, or maybe some of the little ones wanted to come and say what they've got on their placard and just show that to everyone. Is there anyone that would like this? Um, Mike, or like, um, to, do, to say something? Yeah, thank you. And then if we could keep passing it round to young people. Um, this is your strike. This is not the adult strike. So don't let us speak for you anymore, yeah? mining but we've got to make sure that you have an economic future we've got to make sure that we're getting green jobs and we're building a climate free future with a sustainable energy we're going to be organizing a climate change conference on the 6th of april in the discovery museum get yourselves down It'd be fantastic if there's young people there and not just the same old people your future is what i'm fighting for we need a climate emergency Oh, and he wants to go. This is real, then why aren't people doing anything about it? Um, yeah, the ruling class of this, well, not just this country, but the world in general, are bored thinking they're special, thinking they're better, thinking they're worth more than the rest of us. And it's so ingrained in their mentality and that's why we're in this stage that they have to win they're winners but we're losing and that will go the wave of them so basically, I'm here today um, fighting against climate change. We want our government to debate this in Parliament properly. As you can see, there's a lot of people here gathered who also agree that this does need to take place and this does need to happen. Where are you from? We're from Gosford, the 
Academy. We have about 75 people here today. Um, I'm part of the student union there. Hi, my name is Maria, and I think... <laughs> I think that the uh, teacher should have been here supporting you. You didn't cause the mess. Our generation caused the mess. The generation before will cause the mess. Where's the support and the solidarity of your teachers? They should know a lot better. Thank you, kids, for coming along. Also, there's a, um, a petition going around for Newcastle Coalition to tell the council they, to declare a climate emergency. If people would like to all go and find somebody who's got a petition inside it, it would be very useful because I need 2,500 signatures, I think, it is at the minute. Okay, thank you all. Hi, I'm talking again. Uh, I am Nelson Driscoll. My father is Jamie Driscoll. It's right there. And he is the only politician who's actually putting forward suggestions to try and stop this. And he's actually here and he's listening to all of us. At the current rate of climate change, one species goes extinct every 15 minutes. And, if we don't stop it, then pretty soon places like the Netherlands will go entirely underwater. I am here because I am angry. I am so angry. Right? Hello, I'm Anna, and I know that global warming is going to change. 
change everyone's life. And if politicians and people can't stop it, then it's just awful and people really need to like make a change and I don't want I don't want the world to disappear because it's well, everything to everyone, isn't it? All of us kind of get to say, but there is more we can do. Politicians respond to popularity. So if you write in, if you tell them, if you call in, you might be able to get your politicians from Newcastle to put forward to help this solution. <laughs> I'd like to say that I'm not the best of women, so I'm going to suffer in the future. <laughs> like, we're the first generation to ever deal with climate change, and then we're, we're, the, we're the last that we can make a change before 11 years, so if we don't do something now, we can't do something else. Superman may be a superhero, but it's us that's going to save the planet. If you're here today and you've been told some of the same thing from your school, tell them to shove it when the sun don't shine. Have a good day! choice to be here, this is not a choice to, it's not an option to sit by and do nothing and pretend like nothing's happening when the such a catastrophic situation is facing us. So like the scale of the crisis demands a response of equal scale and we need, we're just not seeing any action, it's just nothing on the scale, nothing near the scale that we need from this government. So every person here today I think recognises that we need serious change in this country and worldwide and we're not going to sit by and we're going to get up out of our seats and demand it. Amazing. And um, the citizens' assembly thing? Um, yeah, trying to have like a youth assembly um, to link up kids from like, I think it's quite, especially like in our sick form what I felt like people, young people feel like alone, they're not really much of a difference. It's quite hard to see yourself as part of a bigger movement, especially when you're being told by teachers you're not going to make a difference. We're constantly told our generation's voice doesn't count. We're being told that our generation does care, but I think this shows exactly that we do care. So the plan is to get coordinated, get links up between different schools so we can have an organised assembly, have a committee to keep the energy going so this doesn't stop today. So why are you here today? I'm here just because it needs to be like a major emergency. It needs to be passing way, way more than actually are. It's just a way bigger problem that people really like don't talk about. It's not taken seriously, you know? Yeah, Individuals, we can make demands together. We have a big influence. We need to back ourselves. We will be heard. Why are you marching today? Um, the government is wasting too much time on things like Brexit when they're not even thinking about the climate and they're not bothering to change the earth. So that's why I'm Different schools today, like two to four, just up the road. Um, I feel like someone else just trying to like advertise their little thing, but this is like trying to be as inclusive as possible, like get everyone together, like really get students in Newcastle organised and uh, like in solidarity with each other so we can coordinate between different schools. If one school's getting sanctions, we'll have all the students from across Newcastle there to like make a lot of noise about it. Together, like we can make a difference. Let's back ourselves and get it done. <laughs> Because we need to save the ocean. 
Nation, uh, those people around the world are supported by the oceans and if they're rising because of climate, climate, climate change, it's, it's just all going to go to shit. <laughs> change becomes irreversible. At that point, well, um, uh, as I said, it's irreversible. Um, so, and still, politicians are doing nothing about it, which is why we need to get Labour into power so that uh, they can do something. It's 2030. That's not long at all. And who's fucking doing things? Teenagers. Who should be politicians? And like third world countries, they're going to be the ones to suffer first. And we're like making such a big difference in like such a small way. But yeah, well done guys. People die from climate change, including my grandma's brother. Oh! Woo! Woo! Stay off! Climate change is hard! struggling with my mental health, but uh, that's not an excuse to not do anything. Yeah. Let's try to change now, there's no planet B. I'm a sixth form student, I'm 18 years old, and I'm here to protest the ecological murder uh, that's being undertaken by global governments and global businesses uh, to this very day. 68 million people last year lost their homes and land thanks to climate change. We stand in solidarity with every last person whose life is under threat from climate change. I want to grow up, I want to get a job, I want to have kids. I want to be able to live peacefully. I don't want cereal crop production to drop. I don't want mass starvation. I don't want desertification. I want to save our planet. And we cannot trust this government, a government which has killed 120,000 people via cuts, to think about our lives now. They have no regard for human life. So we're going to stand up. This is a warning shot. This is saying ex respect existence or expect resistance. Can I get a cheer for everyone who is on strike from their school or college today? <laughs> is changing and it really needs we need some new systems to be put in place because after all it is like our future um, I know at 20 I'm scared that in a few years I won't even have uh, a planet to live on anymore so yeah so it's just to raise the importance of it. Yeah we want the government to feel the pressure from the people and to step up and do their bit because they've just spent too long not doing enough and we have to act now or it's just not ever going to change. Yeah, I think we just need some really big action to kind of make the government realise there's always been a lot of issues and people trying to say things but never as big as this and I think now it's kind of the final push and otherwise it's just going to be too little too late really. Mab, are you North Uni? Uh, we're Newcastle Uni students. Yeah. yeah, all second year. Today, you must push through. This is one instigating factor. You continue this, you take it home. You don't leave this here. This is the beginning of everything. We're here today because the government is not doing enough about climate change. If they're not going to do it, we have to do it. We need to make our own future because they're not listening to us. We need to make them listen. And climate change is a very important issue. Not many people have taken action on it. We're here because the government needs to take action and they're not doing anything about it. We need people to pay attention and we need to keep doing this until something happens.
Nobody's taking climate change seriously, and if we don't do something soon, it'll be too late. Wow. Can I just get a video of you and your signs? Alright, why are you starting today? So I'm here today because if there's too much focus on the short term, too much focus on Brexit, it's breaking the country. We need to think about the long term, we need to think about our future as a country together. My name is Greta Thunberg. I am 15 years old and I'm from Sweden. I speak on behalf of Climate Justice Now. Many people say that Sweden is just a small country and it doesn't matter what we do. But I've learned that you are never too small to make a difference. And if a few children can get headlines all over the world just by not going to school, then imagine what we could all do together if we really wanted to. But to do that, we have to speak clearly, no matter how uncomfortable that may be. You only speak of green, eternal economic growth because you are too scared of being unpopular. You only talk about moving forward with the same bad ideas that got us into this mess, even when the only sensible thing to do is pull the emergency brake. You are not mature enough to tell it like it is. Even that burden you leave to us children. But I don't care about being popular. I care about climate justice and a living planet. Our civilization is being sacrificed for the opportunity of a very small number of people to continue making enormous amounts of money. Our biosphere is being sacrificed so that rich people in countries like mine can live in luxury. It is the sufferings of the many which pay for the luxuries of the few. The year 2078, I will celebrate my 75th birthday. If I have children, maybe they will spend that day with me. Maybe they will ask me about you Maybe they will ask why you didn't do anything while there still was time to act. You say you love your children above all else, and yet you are stealing their future in front of their very eyes. Until you start focusing on what needs to be done rather than what is politically possible, there is no hope. We cannot solve a crisis without treating it as a crisis. We need to keep the fossil fuels in the ground and we need to focus on equity. And if solutions within this system are so impossible to find, then maybe we should change the system itself. We have not come here to beg world leaders to care. You have ignored us in the past and you will ignore us again. You have run out of excuses and we are running out of time. We have come here to let you know that change is coming, whether you like it or not. The real power belongs to the people. Thank you. <laughs>